Why does God want us to pray over and over and over again? It's not just a pastoring prayer. Prayer must do something for us that we go over and over and again. Because in Luke 11, he tells another story. And I'm going to read you just the end of it. But Luke 11, he tells a story about a guy has a friend come late night and he doesn't have any food to feed him. And in the Eastern culture, that's a big deal. You always got to have food to feed him. So he goes to his neighbor and it's night and everybody's asleep. And he says, I need some bread. And the neighbor says, I'm not giving you any bread. All my kids are asleep. And then this is what it says. I tell you, Jesus saying this, even though he, your neighbor, will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship, Yet because of your shameless audacity. If you've got a Bible, you want to circle that in your Bible because how does God want you to pray? With shameless audacity. Everybody say that next time here. Bring you up. That's the answer. Shameless audacity. Get ready to say it. God wants you to pray with he wants you to come with boldness, with courage, and says, I want you to ask you. Because he comes with shameless audacity and audacious prayer, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. So I say to you, here's the lesson of the story, why you should ask over and over again. I say to you, ask and keep on asking and it will be given. Seek, keep on seeking and, it and you will find. Knock and keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who seeks finds and everyone who knocks the door will be open which of you fathers if your son asks you for a fish just basic food in that day will give him a snake to kill him instead any dads that's what you're doing or if he asks for an egg you know basic thing will give him a scorpion to kill him any of you going to do that now, and he says, if you then, even though you are evil, broken fathers, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give through the Holy Spirit who asks him? He says, he's, he knows that he's a good, loving Father who knows how to give good gifts. So why does he want you to ask over and over again? Because it changes you. Because when you come to God and say, God, I can't, but you can, and if you would rescue, and if you would save, or you deliver, it puts you in a place of dependence, and it brings you to sanity. God is the only one who can rescue me. Prayer is about building a relationship with God, and that's what he wants.